HSBC presents CNBC TV 18's Future Female Forward, the Women's Collective, powered by Parity. studied economics honors from Hindu College Delhi University and it was back in uh, I was a 2013-16 batch and uh, I was also the placement self president of the college so I always wanted uh, to do something at the grassroots and, uh, doing a, a job at MNCs was not uh, my thing I knew that for sure eventually like uh, there was a time there was a, a brief period in 2018 uh, when I discovered myself and I was like I was very fascinated with the uh, farming uh, it was uh, I started as a terrace farmer uh, so uh, I did uh, I grew uh, say tomatoes and all of that at my terrace in pots only and uh, the time I spent with the plants was so relaxing so uh, I really enjoyed that time so that's when I thought Ki, why don't uh, we take this as a profession I did my training in uh, uh, New Delhi uh, so I got uh, enrolled in a program for hydroponics. So uh, why I chose hydroponics was basically I wanted to include technology in my uh, farming. So uh, when I went there, so I was uh, pretty sure that uh, I wanted to go for polyhouse farming or something more at a technology level and not for the primitive agriculture, which usually people do. You know, so uh, paddy and uh, wheat was not my thing. I knew that. So uh, I wanted to make uh, a benchmark in farming and not be a mediocre. Three years later, I began with one acre of land and right now I'm doing six acres of land. So uh, I think that's a good leap. Uh, I always made sure that once the entire business is settled at uh, my poly house, then I'll move forward and uh, start uh, expanding more. None of the workers here is a new poly house farming. So also there was a skill development that they were uh, learning new techniques, new ways of farming. They have always been like uh, looking, they have always done paddy and wheat and uh, maybe mustard. But they were, uh, uh, this farming was very new to them as well. So only I knew what to do. So I had to teach them, I had to be there and uh, tell them ki what is right, what is wrong. They did their mistakes, they learned from their mistakes as well. I learned from my mistakes and uh, that's when like uh, three years later I know that uh, uh, all my workers are so skilled that they'll be able to pull, uh, manage the entire work. We are spending around uh, like uh, 30 to 30 to 40 uh, lakhs rupees, 30 to 35 lakhs rupees on a uh, yearly basis uh, at uh, our six acres of farming and uh, uh, and it promises a good result, like we uh, fetch around 45 to 50 lakhs yearly as profit as well. So yeah, uh, we have a turnover of, turnover of around uh, I think 90 lakhs, 80, 90 lakhs on a yearly basis. There are 15 to 20 employees on a daily basis uh, uh, at my farm and they are mostly women. And it's not like uh, I'm biased towards them. No, it's not like that. Because, But uh, honestly, I felt that they are more skilled. Farming has been a very male-dominated sector, whether it be where it goes for uh, marketing the produce or growing in that. But uh, like I always talk to my peer uh, farmers and uh, uh, I realize that uh, uh, the women over there and the male as well, the male workers, they're not treated with respect. Uh, they're overburdened with work. Uh, honestly speaking, uh, we uh, we make sure that the work is divided here. I want to be uh, like recognized as an agripreneur in the uh, future. I uh, want to make that name that uh, farmers are not always. Uh, uh, why do we have to show that farming is a very backward uh, profession? And uh, I just want to change that in farming. <laughs> HSBC presents CNBC TV 18's Future Female Forward, the Women's Collective, powered by Parity.